I have been messing with my hair. I thought I liked what I had done to it. Does that ever happen to you? You blow dry it, you straighten it, you do all the things, you pick your part. Is it middle? Is it left? Is it right? Is it curly? Is it straight? And you like the finished product and then you walk away and 15 minutes later you look at yourself again and you're like, you're like, wait a minute, this is not who I approved. So that's what's happening to me. I don't know why, but listen, I can't keep sitting here um, messing with my hair for another 15 minutes. So we're just going to dive into today's video. Um, if you are new to my channel, I have done this video every single year. I love filming it for you guys and it's what I got for Christmas. So I'm going to share with you those things. I do want to say that I did do a video. I think it was like a haul and then I also showed you guys what I was putting in my stocking, my daughter's stocking, my niece's stocking. So I'm not going to re-show every single thing but from a stocking perspective but I'm going to show you guys what I got. Um, I am very excited so the first thing I want to share with you are the clothing pieces. So one of them I'm actually wearing and it is this really nice black um, sweater. It's so incredibly soft. I'm not going to stand up, but it's a little long too, so I love the fit as well. I also got this sweater, which is very pretty. I love how monochromatic it is because obviously everything in here, while you can see the details, you can see the little pom-poms, you can see the V-stitch. It's all the same color, and I love that. It's very much my style. I really tried to get into prints a lot, and I do have prints that I still use. You guys know I love plaid and things like that, and I love a floral pattern, but overall, I love just basic colors, and I have been on a struggle journey with my style. If you follow me, then you know about this, and recently I did two different Shein hauls where I showed you guys like how I styled my outfits using Pinterest inspiration, so I'll link those down below. But you can kind of see like how this would wor work really well into my style. And I love cream because I think it's gorgeous with gold jewelry. And I love wearing gold necklaces and earrings, so I think this is a really cute top and also, like I said, I think it's really girly too. So I'm gonna love wearing that. And then here is this t-shirt right here. I actually got it for myself, but I got my daughter one as well so that we could like, you know, do our little Harry Potter. I have something in my eye now. Great. Um, so that we could do our Harry Potter thing. Like, you know, you know, you know all about that. Uh, I'm team, not team, I'm house Ravenclaw. And so the sleeve has the really nice detail here. And of course hers is green and hers says Slytherin. And then there's just the pocket detail of the animal that's part of the Ravenclaw house. So Slytherin is a snake um, for green for my daughter. So that is hers and I got these from an Etsy seller. So very excited about that. And then I, you guys, I finally got what I, <laughs> I really need it and if you watch my vlogs you know I need this. I need matching pajamas because I'm always looking a mess head to toe and honestly like not even mad about that either like it is what it is I mean I'm not trying to look perfect you know um, when I'm just like in my pajamas but it's just nice to have a set or two you know that match I mean do these not have my name written all over it or what this one's just really fun and festive and then the colorful plaid here. These are from Croft and Borrow and I think they came from Kohl's. So those are the clothing pieces that I got. Uh, okay, the next item and listen, I purchased this a while ago but I still considered it my Christmas gift to myself even though I've been buying books like crazy. But I did buy a slew of novels from Eloisa James. I have yet to read this author. I bought her by your guys's recommendation um, and I'm very very excited to dive into her stuff. I'm still on Julie Garwood. I'm still reading through all of her novels and just to show you like I have a whole bag and I've been really patient too. I haven't even put them in my library. I just kind of like put these under the tree just like this. I didn't even really wrap them. Um, just kind of kept them in this bag, but 
yeah so these are this is like a historical romance author by the way in case you're wondering and if you've never like heard me talk about um like my novels of choice but i started off with joanna Lindsay. love her she's the best she's my favorite and um and now i'm on to julie garwood and then next i'm gonna be diving into eloisa eloisa james so very excited absolutely love this and i did get these from ebay so fyi okay next up i can't i can't wait a moment longer because you know this is going to be my favorite section of the entire haul but hello there's actually one more hang on hello part two so i love movies i'm a movie gal i'm a homebody um i could just i literally can't ever get enough of it either I feel like even though I'm not, you know, always socially out or always traveling or anything like that, I can't get enough of just being home, cleaning my space, watching TV shows and movies. I've always loved it for as long as I like can remember. Um, comment, I don't know, are you the same way? So, of course, um, getting movies was going to be the highlight of Christmas for me from a gift perspective but I and these are the ones I actually got myself by the way so I got Town and Country I've never seen this movie before um, it has Goldie Hawn in it it has Diane Keaton there I couldn't believe how many amazing actors are in this movie and I got this one from Amazon by the way and I think I got it for like four ish dollars it says Walmart on here but I got it from Amazon so then I made a trip to this movie store in which um, I was looking for Fast and Furious for my daughter because it's basically our favorite like franchise series types of movies together and I really thought we owned all of them but apparently we were missing like the first three so I went to go get those as a gift for her and then while I was there it was the weirdest thing you guys. All of a sudden, I was like, Dick Tracy. I, 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 I have no idea where the heck that that thought even came from. Um, I have not seen anything about Dick Tracy. Just It just popped in my head just very randomly. And I have seen this, but it was so long ago that if I put it in and watch it, it will be like watching a brand new movie because I know I won't remember it. I just remember Madonna being in it. And so here's that. And I don't know if some of you guys know this, but yes, Madonna has been in movies way back in the day. She did Who's That Girl, which that Seeking, Desperately Seeking Susan, that one's really good too, but Who's That Girl's like my favorite Madonna movie. But anyways, um, Dick Tracy. It's like a detective-y um, style movie. So I got that. And then I went into the classic section and thought, let me just pick one that looks good that I've never seen before and this one's called The Thrill of It All with Doris Day and James Garner and I just kind of briefly read the back and it just looked really cute. Basically the plot of this movie is that they're living the American dream but their suburban bliss turns to media driven frenzy when Beverly is selected as the national advertising spokeswoman for Happy Soap and her career begins to skyrocket and her neglected husband is increasingly put out by the fact that when his family that when his family does get to see her it's on tv so that just sounds really cute and charming so i'm really excited to watch this movie and then my daughter and i always do like one gift before christmas so on christmas eve she gets to open up one gift <clears throat> well this year she wanted to do the same thing for me so she wanted me to open up one gift and uh, I opened up this one and I lost it I mean I didn't even really honestly know that there were um this many like Star Trek movies from the the OG squad the OG gang and she thought to get this for me and I thought that was so incredibly sweet I was so excited it has Star Trek 1, 2, 3, and 4 of the movies, so this is not the TV show. Um, the TV show is on Netflix, so I could just like watch it that way. I'm a huge Star Trek Voyager fan, so 
they did different levels of Star Trek, basically, not to like geek out on all of you. But Star Trek Voyager was, I think, late 80s, early 90s. And they had a female captain. And it has a Gilligan's Island concept where they get catapulted onto the other side of the universe and they have to make their way home kind of thing. So um, I've never watched the one with like Spock, the, the infamous beam me up Scotty, you know, line that I think if you don't watch Star Trek, you still like know that line. So I'm just really excited. And I think, I think I'll actually watch the movies first before I dive into the TV series. But what's odd is I'm, I'm extra chatty today. I just want to tell you all the, the information. But the other day I was watching Star Trek Voyager and I thought to myself, I'm like, I want to get into the original Star Trek Enterprise and all that. And she had no idea because I thought this in my head and then she went and got this and I was just like, what is up with this? Is this because we're all in 5D now? Like, what is this? So then for Christmas Day, I opened up martin and my daughter got these for me and i was just like what i think i offhandedly like mentioned it a while ago because when we moved to this house i had to change my cable provider and all of that and so when i set up service for this house i was like you know i'm always on netflix i'm always on amazon prime like i don't need all the channels and then i quickly found out that i didn't get the channel in which like Martin plays um, and I also didn't get DVR it's see what I mean I'm saying a whole bunch of information that's relevant but um, so I wasn't able to watch Martin like I was normally used to and I think like I said I offhandedly mentioned it and she went and picked up every single season I got hooked onto this show in my early 20s and I love Martin Lawrence um, if you know me, then you know that whenever I fall in love with like an actor and actress, I always look up everything that they do and then I will watch all of their work basically, right? So I've seen all of Martin Lawrence's movies. I mean, this is him in a TV show, but I just love Martin Lawrence, period. And Martin is so funny. I mean, I have peed my pants watching this. All right, so I'm really excited to add that TV series to my collection. And then I did get a pretty big present from my daughter. I honestly couldn't believe it. I told her not to do this, but she did it anyway. And she got me an Apple product. Actually, I thought it was an Apple watch. And I told her, I was like, there better not be an Apple watch. Does anybody have like kids in their 20s or whatever? And you have to like tell them. Um, but I was like, it better not be an Apple Watch. And I really actually thought it was bracelets for some reason. And then I was not expecting the brand new AirPods. I mean, these are like the, the Pro. These are the AirPods Pro. And I was just like, oh my gosh, I couldn't believe it. I've, I'm still like functioning off of the one with the cord that came with my iPhone 8. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm still on that that old technology method. And she said, not anymore. So it's really sweet of her. I couldn't believe that she did this. Um, but yeah, she got me the AirPods Pro. The next things are some really cute fuzzy shoes that are just gonna be like house shoes. But I wanted to show you guys up close. So you can see like the little pearl deep detail. My daughter got a pair of these as well. And I just love how soft they are. And I love house shoes. I don't go around barefoot very often, if at all. So those are really cute. And what do I show you guys next? Let's get into some jewelry. I'm just going to show you guys some like earrings that I got. It's really, really pretty gold earrings. I love gold. I don't even, I don't even think I've ever gotten into silver, to be honest. Um, what is your choice metal, by the way? But you know what I have seen? I have seen like the mix of metal between silver and gold, and it does look very chic. Um, so I think I might like give that a try. I also got these, which I love the whole chain thing, and I do love a good like layered moment. You can see that I have three necklaces on here. So those are very pretty, very excited about those. 
and then I decided to get myself a birthday gift so I found this um I found this jewelry online jewelry store and I just fell in love with her stuff I'll link it down below um and I found this set right here which hopefully you'll be able to kind of see really well but it is kind of hard but I don't know if you can tell but this one has little jewels I think it's like focusing on my eyes I can like try to get out of the frame isn't that pretty and it has the little chain link addition to it and I purposely picked this one so that it would have two layers here and then I picked one that says Capricorn because I am December 25th and it says Capricorn and it's sparkly and I thought that adding this whole set together would be very pretty. So I'm so excited. I've always wanted like a really nice Capricorn necklace and still this website I feel like has really cheap jewelry compared to, you know, a lot of like high-end stuff that goes for like 80, 90, 100 plus. So these were like $20. Um, yeah, so like I said, I'll link the website down below just in case you're interested. And then, um, oh, then I did get myself this cute little bag, which was in a haul. It's a Ray Dunn makeup bag that she wrote stash on, but I'm actually going to use this, I think, for like planning supplies or just pens, pencils, that kind of thing. So that's one of the things I got for myself. And oh, there's more jewelry because I got, if you guys watch my Sam Moon's haul, I just, I, what I mean is I guess I was going to, um, I was contemplating like, do I give this to my daughter? She loves butterflies. But in the end, I just thought that it really wasn't so much her style. So I threw it into my stocking. There's like a soft little daintiness quality to it. it has little pearls at the end and it has even like a little double layer, which I didn't even know that it had this extra little layer. So I really love that feature. And I also got this heart. And I found this at Sam Moon's for $5.99 and I knew that it would be a really pretty addition to, like for example, like, you know, this would be really pretty. I also got these as well. I mean, I'm thinking that you guys can tell there's a trend here with the gold and the chain link. These pretty earrings with the pearls. Some of these are like moving, so there's that. My foot is going numb. And then these really pretty heart earrings, which I think will be really fun, obviously, to wear anytime because I love hearts, but um, in um, February too. And then I got this cute little bumblebee necklace. I love bumblebees as well, so um, love that. And then I'm just going to throw up some stuff for you guys, but some pawns. Um, dark marks like corrector and then I picked up some Burt's Bees lip balms in coconut and pear and then in mango I love Burt's Bees products I just do then I got this mugwort's product I found this brand on Amazon had a ton of amazing reviews um, there's a couple of other products that I want to get my hands on but I just from the mugwort's line but I just started with this one product, which is not coming out. And it's a spot gel. What, is, what are you stuck on? It's a spot gel. I don't know if you guys have ever heard about mugworts. I haven't. I just found it very randomly through Amazon. And I was just searching up like skincare products. And I found this brand. It's Korean Beauty, which I don't know if you guys know too much about Korean Beauty. But a lot of it that I've seen on Amazon just comes so highly rated. And this was one of them as well. There's a couple of other products within Mugwort's that uh, they sell um, from this seller from, on Amazon. And I want to add it to my collection. But I just thought that I would start off with this product right here, which is like a spot gel treatment. Um, there are just so many amazing reviews on this product alone. It had crazy good like comments and experience and really good 
um, ingredients in here as well. So I thought that I would give it a try, but like I said, there's are, there are a couple of other items that I will probably buy from the Mugwort's line. So I will link this down below in case you're interested if you just like want to read about the product or the reviews. Here's the next one, which as you can see, I kind of already opened it. It's carbonated bubble clay. Now this one I did not find randomly. I found it through a video. Somebody was talking about it and like raved about it up and down. And I thought, okay, let me give this a try. This is also Korean beauty as well. And when I got to Amazon, cause that's where I found it, um, through, from the person talking in the video said it was from Amazon. So when I went to it, it also had crazy good reviews. And it really, I don't think this was very expensive either. This might have been $9.99, I'm not, I'm not sure. And prices do fluctuate too on Amazon, by the way. So um, I'm excited to test this out for myself. And I also have this Maybelline Color Jolt. Um, also the scrunchies. But like I mentioned earlier in this video, or I think I did, I have a lot of editing to do because I've been really awkward. But um, I mentioned how I already showed like what I was getting in the stockings kind of thing. Um, then I also got another Burt's Bees complexion stick. Oh, I just like spot treat with this. That's just what I do. I also have a new wet brush. I need a new one of those. And then I have the Wet n Wild Gel Lip Balm. I actually picked this up at Dollar Tree and I have it in a peach color and I love it. It's really creamy and smooth and I actually use it as a primer, if that makes sense. So the peach one, if I'm gonna wear something more peachy or brown, I'll use my peach colored one as a primer and then I'll add like my lipsticks on top. And I would do the same thing with this pink. So if I wanted to wear like a pink lipstick, I would just kind of put this on. And the reason why I do this is because it's really sheer. Um, so I would either do this as a primer or on top as like a little gloss, but just to kind of like, yeah, do you see how like sheer and pretty that is? I also have the Burt's Bees Intense Overnight Lip Treatment. I've been talking about wanting to up my skincare game and make sure I have like all of the the products, the retinols, the hyaluronic acids, all of those things. And I wanted to add a lip treatment and I decided to try the Burt's Bees. A lot of new little like lipsticks. I really needed some new ones just because I felt like I keep mine for a really long time and I don't even know when stuff expires. Like I just don't. So I was like, you know what? It might be time for some new stuff. So I picked up some NYX Butter Gloss. These have been popular for a very long time and I've had a couple of these in my day as well. And I got a couple of popular ones. This one I think is like the most popular, which is Creme Brulee. Creme Brulee, love that color. And then this one is called Fortune Cookie, which I know is also another big one as well. And I got my daughter Tiramisu, which is a little bit more of a darker berry. That one I think is also a popular butter gloss from NYX. So those, and then I decided that I needed some sort of like lip pencil crayon type thing. I'm not a fan of like lip liner, I don't know why, but I feel like a lip crayon would, I don't know. I don't know why I think that would like be different. Um, but I picked one up from Physicians Formula, which I love that brand. And this color is called Pillow Talk. And then you can see that just the color of the lip crayon is the color of the container. So I, I love Physicians Formula. And then I got this one by, who is this one by? L'Oreal. And it is in, it's a matte lip crayon. It's in the color Caramel Blondie. So I just, yeah, I love the, the brownie pinky nudes. So I got that. And then I have two of these. This one's Maybelline and it is a Superstay matte ink and it's in the color Seductress. Kind of has like a peachy brownness to it which is right up my alley. And then I liked this color but I'm not, I wasn't too sure about it and because it does look kind of purpley and it is called, I don't know what it's called, what 
is this called? I don't know. That's hilarious. I don't I don't see a name on this or I'm just like not seeing it. But here's the color. So we're gonna give that a go. And I also picked up this petty scrub. I also picked up a cosmetic hairband just to kind of have uh, my hair out of the way whenever I'm doing like my facial treatments and I have some from Dollar Tree but I really liked the bow and Dollar Tree hasn't done anything cute like this plus I haven't seen um, headbands like this from Dollar Tree in a while and I just decided to get this one I also got these really cute thick fuzzy socks with the reindeer on it and a CeraVe retinol is part of that whole thing I talked about of just adding the products that I need into my skincare routine and then I got a really cute bath bomb which has which this is C3PO and he is my favorite character in Star Wars and then like these are the little things that I shared in the haul um, not too long ago but we've got the Golden Girls buttons you guys know I love Golden Girls and would this be a what I got for Christmas without a hat of some sort in it so let me show you what I got I picked up this pretty one which is a pale pink adidas it is so pretty I definitely needed a pink hat in my collection I always favor black hats or navy hats um, I can't help myself and listen at the end of the day I will still wear those the most but I wanted to have some sort of like bright nice springy color too and then true to my style i added some random hats to my collection and by random i mean these are teams that i'm not at all or schools that i'm not at all invested in i just love hats based off of just the way that they look you know and i think this is michigan state i think i'm not sure the spartans but i really really love the color i love this for sea green i love the mesh back and i like that it says state on the back too the thing about this is that i wasn't paying enough close attention and this is a like one size stretch fit type thing and i have a very small head so i always have to go with the ones that have the adjustable and yeah so this hat will be one that i will wear with my hair down that will be the only way that i could wear this hat because i mean obviously there's no place to feed my ponytail through anyway i could wear a low ponytail kind of thing um so there's that and then this one is old miss and it's it's a very masculine -y type of hat but i feel like if i jazz it up with you know my necklaces and earrings i could make it really cute and you know i just love plaid a plaid type look and I feel like it has that and here is this now in my what I want for Christmas I think I showed a different Ole Miss hat um and instead of this one so I don't know if you're like wondering why didn't you get this that one versus this one um I actually bought this one a while back before I realized that I wanted the original one that you saw in the the original Ole Miss style I guess you could say and um, so I, I didn't end up buying myself those hats obviously because these are the ones that I'm sharing in today's video but I still really love that that Ole Miss one because you know it's I think it was navy but yeah so anyways those are the hats and that's what I got for Christmas um, I really like the jewelry's probably the jewelry in the movies are my favorite part hands down and obviously the very sweet and overly expensive and thoughtful gift from my daughter on the airpods pro so um i hope that you guys enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up comment down below let me know you know if you celebrated christmas what you got that was your favorite thing and but yeah the the movies i'm so excited i cannot wait to dive into all of these so anyways that's it um just to let you guys know we're gonna be doing a lot of 
changing up in the house a lot of we're going to continue finish decorating it get the library started i've already started buying some things for it all of that decorating will be done on this channel by the way and then as always my dollar tree hauls will remain the same on their schedule mondays wednesdays fridays and sundays is that right did i get that right i think that's right and then tuesdays and Saturdays are typically like decorating or any sort of other like style videos that I do and Thursdays I typically don't put up a video but sometimes I use Thursdays as well to, to fit in other content um, so that's what I have planned for the new year I can't wait to get started and um, and share all of that with you guys so that's it i can't believe i just finished my what i got for christmas this has to be like the fifth year or something i don't know i need to go back and see how many of these that i've done but i hope that you guys enjoyed and i'll see you next time bye